Hello, welcome to Sketch A Day Live recap from Friday, May 22nd, where I show you how to draw this cool cologne perfume bottle. But before we begin, I want you to hit that subscribe button, turn on alerts, because if you don't, you'll miss the live show and you'll miss when I upload videos. You can also find me on the Instagram at sketchaday.com. You can find me on Twitter at Daily Sketches, and I'm pretty easy to find on Facebook as well. Head on over to sketchaday.com. Why? Well, it's a great way to support what we're doing here. We've got a store with Procreate brushes and assets and more coming soon. We also have stickers and even a poster of sketches. So if you're interested, check it out. Let me know what you think, and I hope you find something good there. You can always donate using the PayPal link in the video frame or Venmo, whichever you prefer. Some of you have asked in the past, so I put that there to give you the opportunity to do so. Details are also included on the video description below. Well, thanks guys, and I hope you enjoy. Definitely check out the YouTube, like I mentioned. Great place to be. All right, so I thought I'd kick things off, like I said, with a perfume bottle. They're kind of cool, and I figured I could make up my own thing. So I'm just gonna start with kind of an axis here, just a line of reference on the paper. And I know my lid is gonna be circular in some fashion or way, and we can make that up as we go. And now just kind of pick some perspective lines here, draw the top. I want this to be somewhat faceted. At least that's kind of what I'm thinking. Some cool perfume bottle here. I mean, normally you could start with uh, an orthographic view if you wanted but I thought I'd just jump right into it. You know, glass is really, really challenging to sketch. So one thing I found helpful is if you just draw through the whole thing, we can always make our lines bolder later if we need to, not a problem. All right, so maybe we have some, some lid here. Perfume, cologne, whatever the case may be. The base of this, oh, from Japan, what's up, success? On the YouTube, from Japan. We've got an international show, people. Black Ross, international. <laughs> uh, we always have fun on the show, so thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of this. As you can see, I'm trying to draw through the back, meaning I have these two lines that are offset from each other. Okay, and that's gonna help create the sense of depth for the sketch. Um, let's see, and as I'm doing this, I'm trying to think about materials potentially, you know, for this uh, lid or cap as well. Thinking about background, shadows, where all of that's going to go. And of course, you wanna think about things like a label, if that's gonna be on your perfume. I'll just go ahead and block block something in here. All right, for a label. I kind of wish I had made the perspective a little bit more dynamic. So I'm just going to cheat here a little bit. See if we can do that. Just with a little line weight. What's up, the Skur, Cloppy, Raul, como estas? Naveen, what's up? Roshan, how you doing? Oh, nice. Is that a plug-in for uh, the iPad Pro that lets you watch picture in picture? Or are you talking about Instagram? I'm curious. All right, so let's do our bottle. I'm actually gonna start with the color of the perfume. So whatever that is. And let's, let's just go with something, you know, golden or uh, brownish perhaps. So I'm gonna just grab Grab a scrap piece of paper here and just do a quick color test. All right, this is a yellow 10. We've got a yellow, what's this, yellow one. It's a little bit much. Whenever you're using new markers, it's always helpful to kind of take a look at them, unless you are, <laughs> thanks David, unless you're super familiar with them, and I'm not super familiar with these. I mean, I use them from time to time on the stream, but with the Copic markers, I can just pick and I just know what's gonna work. 
lucky man, fellow of London. Amazing. What time is it in London right now? It's gotta be like late. Super late. Right? All right. Yellow three. Okay, I like this yellow three. I'm gonna keep that. Let's see. Uh, yellow seven. And then I want like a brown. That one's okay. Not gonna use that guy. All right, so I think I'll start with the yellow three and yellow six. You guys have seen me messing around with markers enough already. Once again, if though, if you are watching on the YouTube, you'll want to head over to, or sorry, the Instagram. Head over to youtube.com/sketchday.com if this is your first time. So this is glass. At least that's what I'm gonna try and render here. Sketch render with these these markers. So trying to identify you know, where the top of this liquid is inside this vessel. And now I can kind of shade the side. And whenever I have transparent or translucent things, I like to shade over a few times. So here, the liquid on the inside. I'm gonna leave the top white for now, maybe except for this back spot. And then now I can shade on the side, the corners, things like that. Okay, and just kind of build value. Contrast is gonna be your friend here if you're trying to do something like this. Keep your eyes open, pay attention to reflections and, um, you know, look at objects around you and that's gonna teach you how to draw them. Aside from understanding the pure mechanics and technical aspects of lighting, opening your eyes is going to allow you to store those, what I like to call visual symbols, in your head so that you can recall those later when you want to. All right, so I've got the perfume in the bottle, so now I want to make the corners of the bottle. Depending on the color of the glass, I'm gonna go with clear. Well, maybe maybe I could do like a greenish glass or something. Um, Cause I have green gray. Let's see. So I've got this green gray that I can use. Green gray five and three. All right. So I've got these guys. And so in the corners of the glass and the bottom here, I'm just gonna start introducing some compression artifacts. So whenever you look at glass, in the corners you tend to have a bit of contrast. You know, if there's something in the environment that's being reflected into, into the glass, you'll have that compressed. You know, if, if you're standing in front or if something's in the environment, things like that. Um, someone on the Instagram is asking, where's the Google Drive link? You have to go to sketchaday.live or youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. It's in the video description. You can check it out there. Enjoy. It actually has sketches that I've done for the last, since January. Um, and I'm gonna be erasing those soon. So you'll want to check that out. If you want some sketch samples, they're absolutely free. And I do that just so that you can see what I see as I'm sketching. And you're not like, man, that was a terrible sketch. But once again, this is Sketch Today Live. Thanks for joining. In the United States anyways, it's Memorial Day weekend. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I'm staying inside. I live in an area where it seems like people are champing at the bit to uh, get out and go places. And I'm like, nah, fam. I'm like, nah, fam. There was my seven year old just <laughs> came in. So 
So yeah, just introducing a few artifacts here in the corners. Like so. Yesterday I also uploaded the uh, finale, I guess, conclusion of my CAD modeling sessions that I've done in Fusion 360. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Yeah, I whispered, I'm streaming. Um, feel free to uh, watch those. You know, it's a bit of a watch, but check it out. So we'll just mix some of these colors here. And now, if there's a background we could play with, having the color of the background interplay with the color of the liquid, but I'm not gonna do that today. <laughs> That's gonna take too long. All right, at this point, uh, if you're in the YouTube chat anyways, hit me up with suggestions. What would you like to see next? I'm kind of open today. Hoping to get like four or five of these done. So let's keep it simple if we can. Can I plastic bottle sketch? I'm sketching glass, so it's it's very similar. In case you're wondering. I guess I could have done those wood lines with marker, but how about we do something like, let's see, maybe something like a cherry, cherry wood. Can I make a Photoshop rendering tutorial? Actually, if you watch my YouTube, you will find plenty of stuff there. That's from the Instagram. So just, just a heads up, if you are watching Instagram, it's only gonna go for about an hour, maybe less, because I am limited in how long the stream can go. So if you wanna catch the full thing, Head over to youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. Verde is asking, how do you draw those reflections? Um, like I mentioned, you just kind of have to open your eyes, but I do have a video <laughs> on the YouTube. Take a look at... Um, I think it's called, yeah, I think it's called how to how to like light a cylinder. And there's another one about lighting objects that you can watch, check out. So yeah, if you check those out, you'll find resources specifically on lighting. The idea with the live streams is you get to see me apply the principles, the pre-recorded stuff. I'm gonna kind of keep that to the, at least this is my plan going forward making those more of the technical presentations, like how stuff works when it comes to drawing. And then the pre-recorded stuff will be like why it works that way. So why are shadows the way they are? How does line weight work? Things like that, all right? If you are interested, I do offer tutoring as well. So just hit me up with a message. I kind of make an assessment and then we go from there. So even in the corners here, we may have little spots that are black. So I'm just trying to take my pen, add a bit more contrast, like so. And like I mentioned, we have this label. Um, the label here, I think I'm gonna make it black and then I'll just scribble some text on. Grab the wrong marker, but it's all good. It is all good. Pendant lamps, X game, Xbox controller. I already have a video on Xbox controller. <laughs> Roshan, are you just trolling me today? I don't know why Roshan watches. He's he's way. He's really good. 
Really, really good. You don't need to be watching, dude. What's up, Luke? Okay, so I'm just taking a white pen now that I've shaded that in as black. I don't really want to make a logo. Hmm, what should we call this? Need some sort of brand. I'll finish up some other stuff while, while I think on it. This cool gray seven, I need something darker. Boom. You know, I was really excited this summer. I was planning to go live somewhere else in the world. And then all this COVID stuff happened and I'm like, man, like I was, I was thinking about moving to Europe or uh, going to like South Africa or something for the duration of summer. I'm pretty bummed about that. <clears throat> really stinks. Okay, so on the top, I think I'm gonna make that like a black, but shiny. All right, something like that. Now I can take a nice light gray and create a subtle gradient on the inside, or you could use a pencil, that's another way to do it. Maybe I'll do that just to show you guys what that looks like. Although I think I put away all my pencils, just to say. Sometimes when you clean up, you clean up too well. That was my case yesterday. Cleaned up the studio. Got to interview my first boss online. That was fun. Super, super fun. Kind of hear him tell his des design philosophy, stories, all that stuff. That was when I worked at Astro Studios in San Francisco. Back in the day. I should also mention, <laughs> I've been getting more requests uh, lately for, um, you know, hey, can I can I buy a sketch, whatever. If, if you're interested in that, there is a way. Just hit me up. I know Luke's Luke's gotten some. I'm just faking the shadow here in the back. Um, Luke's gotten some stuff in the past, um, and recently we had someone on Instagram pick something up. So let me know. Moving or holiday? Let's see. Roshan, I'm watching for the same reason you're sketching. Always room for improvement. Ah. <laughs> True. I feel like in life, if you feel like you've made it and there's nothing else to learn, you have failed. <laughs> Because there's so much to learn, so much to do. But yeah, remember, contrast is your friend. So squint your eyes, look at your drawing. It'll help you. gonna shade in the shadow here light or not shadow but reflection just to kind of get get things going let's see it's an angle incidence you may have a little bit of that but I'm gonna ignore I'm gonna cheat and ignore the reflection of the wood right now just because it would be very very intense to figure that out but little things like this will help just adding Adding a little bit of the reflection of this top portion. You know, sketching isn't about, at least I think, depends on who you talk to, but <laughs> sketching isn't about creating an exact replica of something, but more so capturing the essence of it. And that's what I'm trying to do here. All right, so the logo. I have no idea what to put there. I guess I could put Chanel or something. What's up, Abhishek? Exploded view of a watch with a brown leather band. Oh my goodness, David. You're killing me, Smalls. We got lots of suggestions. This is awesome. Okay, let me just add some white stuff. I think I have enough suggestions here to go for. If I don't get to your idea, it's not because I hate you or anything. 
I might hate the idea. Just kidding. No, nothing but love. <laughs> okay, a couple little dots here just for texture. Again, if you use a white pen and you feel like something's too intense, you can always let it dry and then go over it with marker. And it should help mute things. Uh, I'm just gonna do a scribble logo because I don't want to, I don't want to figure out a logo there. <clears throat> and then on the ground, we'll just take some very light yellow, just to create a little bit of caustic and cast on the ground here. Just some pale yellow. When in doubt, rough it out and light until you get it right. That's the name of the game. Okay. One of the things I found helpful with drawing too is actually doing photography. So if you get into photography or even doing things like uh, renderings kind of helps you figure things out the mechanics of things as you study that become more aware of what's happening it then becomes easier to kind of manipulate and draw what you want all right let's see just a small hint of reflection here. You can keep touching things up if you need, you know, just a little pencil for texture on the surface, for example, you can do that. Just so things don't feel as flat as they might otherwise. All right, something like that. And since since the perfume perfume is yellow. I like to kind of have some of the light also refracting in the perimeter or thickness of the glass. I always find that that kind of helps it feel a bit more credible as a sketch. And I'm just going to take this brush pen now and clean up the bottom. All right, just like that. Okay, so that's our first sketch today. I'm just gonna sign this guy. As a reminder, this will be available on the Google Drive as a downloadable. So that link is in the YouTube video description once again. Well, thanks for watching. Definitely hit subscribe, turn on alerts if you've made it this far. Much love, thank you, and appreciation. And I hope to catch you next time on one of our live streams. We go live on Wednesdays, usually around 4 or 5 Pacific, Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific, that one's a lock, and Sundays somewhere between 12 and 2 Pacific. So keep your eyes open, turn on those alerts, and hit subscribe. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time right here on Sketch Day.